Just a short disclaimer, if you haven't followed part one of this tutorial, you will not be able to make the ranking bot. So make sure you follow part one of this, which is found in the description down below. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Roblox ranking center. A Roblox ranking center is essentially a place where users can join your game, buy a game pass, and then they'll get a rank in exchange. First of all, you need to pick your theme. There's dark and light theme. They both work exactly the th same, it's just the colour. So dark will have a more darkish colour and light will have a more lightish. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm going to pick the dark theme ranking centre and then you click on the blue text and it will download. Remember they are exactly the same, they are literally just different colours. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder and you should see that your file's there. Then double click on it to open. Then what you need to do is you need to wait for Roblox to load. Okay, I'm just going to make it full screen. And then, once it's loaded in, you should see something like that. This is your ranking center. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the server. So the server is the bit of this that does ranking. So when you first did this, you should remember that we made a GitHub repository. Then remember when you go there, you see that .env file. If you click on that, you should see where it says API key. Copy the long number you made after the equal sign. Then open up service script service. You should see a script that says ranking manager. Then what you need to do is inside the speech marks, paste in your key. Okay, now that's that done, what you can do is you can go to the website where we were hosting our app ranking center. So if you go to settings on the very right on that top bar, you'll see something that should look like this. Now, if you scroll down to domains, you should see your app can be found at blah, blah, blah. So what you need to do is you need to click on that and it'll take you there. It should say detail, not found. So then copy the link. Your link's going to be different to mine. And paste that in. Okay, so after this, there is a quite important step. What you need to do is after this slash, you need to type in group like this. And then after this, you need to say slash rank and then leave it like that. It's really important that after your URL, remember your URL will be different to me, that you put group slash rank. So besides that URL, that's exactly what should be on the end. And then once that's done, you can go back to Roblox. You can go to your group that you have the rank management bot set up on and you can copy the group ID. So the group ID is that number in the URL. You can see my bot's rank there, has permissions to rank lower members. And then what you can do is you can copy that ID it should be it will literally just be numbers and then where it says group ID equals and replace that number with that group ID and now everything on the server is set up so it should all be working now how this ranking center actually works is that you click on one of the ranks so where it says loading and it will prompt you to buy a game pass and you double click on it to check your rank so on the server how we did all of that and that's all done now so basically we can have as many ranks as we want so it's really quite efficient so if i were to double click on that for example it would ask me to buy a game pass and if i double clicked on it it would ask the server 
if I have the game pass, and if I do have the game pass, it'll rank me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to configure all these buttons. So go into Start GUI, then into Screen GUI, click Selector, and then you'll see in scrolling frame, you see all these ranks. So what you can do is you can customize them. So you can duplicate more than one, or you can delete them all. So you can see also inside that button, there's a local script called Manager. That's where all our configuration is. So I'm just going to delete all of this. As an example, you don't need to do this. Oops, I accidentally left that there. And then what I can do is, you see that? I You can actually duplicate to make more than one rank. Keep in mind that's really important that you duplicate the frame. So rank zero and not the contents. And that's how you can add more ranks. But now I'm going to show you how to configure it. So you double click on the script and you should see something like this. I know it looks a bit complicated, so just follow carefully. So you see where it says rank name here? This is actually the name of the rank. So I'm just going to call it expert member, for example. It's just an example. And here's the rank ID. So to get a rank ID, I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to go to configure group. And then I should see once it's loaded, my internet isn't that great. You can click roles, which is below members, and you'll see um, the roles. If you click on them, you'll see where it says rank 0 to 22,000. Oh my god, 255. And then this is the rank that you're going to have. So to make sense, I'm just going to call my rank moderator. And I'm going to get the rank ID, which is 2. So this means when someone buys the game pass, they will get the rank moderator. And then I put, paste the rank ID right there. Next rule, you're going to need a game pass ID. Because, as you know, you need to buy the game pass to actually get the rank. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, make your game pub give it a name so I'm just gonna call it ranking center and then uh, I'll just leave it default to me and I'll create and here's an important step if you do not do this step your rank center will not work no matter what you see in the home tab you see game settings click on that and go to security then make sure allow HTTP requests is set to green that is super important in making sure that your app, your ranking center will work. It will not rank work without that. So now I'm going to show you how to make the game pass. Go to your browser. Then what you need to do is just make sure it's all published. So yep, my game's published. Then go to the create up there. And you should see it says your game right there. So I'm going to click on that. And to set up a game pass, we need to go to store, then add pass, and we're going to add the pass. Okay, so it's really simple to add the game pass. You just need to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Cookie Tech Moderator, and that's the rank you're going to get when you buy the game pass. And I'm just going to give it a description, can be used to buy rank okay and then what you're going to need to do you have to give it a image no matter what i'm just gonna copy mine yeah that's just a random file on my pc i'm sure it'll be fine and then what you do is you click preview and it should so like this but the reason it has that weird symbol is it means it's being verified by roblox to make sure it's an inappropriate picture and now you can consider the price so click on the cog button, then click configure, and then you can go to sales. So I'm going to give it a price of maybe 20 Robux. You need to click on item for sale, and then just you can enter any price you want. So the thing is with Roblox, they take 30% of your income. This is the way Roblox actually makes money. So they take a bit of the money you're getting. So if I were to put in 
20 Robux, I would only get 14 Robux. Because that's the 30%. I mean, yeah, the 30% they're taking. So, that's basically how much I'm going to get. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save. And now you can see the product is up. You can buy it now. So, now you need to get the Game Pass ID. It's up there. It's that number in between that. You only copy the number. Then copy it. Then go back to your settings. Click on the local script. And then copy in the Game Pass ID. Where it says local Game Pass ID equals. And then the ID. And that is pretty much how you configure that button. Now, if you wanted to make multiple buttons, you just duplicate the frame and you'd cons configure it once again. So, pretty simple. And now, I'm just going to give you an example of how this works. So, remember, if you want to make multiple rolls, just duplicate the frame. And that's how it works. So, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to test it to show you how it works. You can also see if I wanted to configure it, I'll just open that manager again, enter in a game pass ID, so, and rename it. So, now what I do is I'll click the wrong button up there, and take a second to load in. And once it's loaded in, you should see that your ranking center loads in. Now. If you singular click on it, you'll see it will prompt Game Pass. You also see there's a tiny animation down there. And it will prompt you for a product. Since I already own that, it won't matter. And it can't run it me since I'm a higher bot than the rank. So to buy it, what you do is you double click it and it'll check your rank. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can go to forms, which will be linked down below. You can make a scripting support post, tell us your reason, and then give it a description. And then one of our staff members or me will get back to you and help you solve the problem.